Hello everybody and welcome to the first the hunting lodge after vacation time. So we're super happy to have you all here. Stefan, do Hello. you want to do an introduction? Uh, yeah, I hope some of you guys are still on vacation and enjoying the nice summer weather and sunshine and warmth. So jelly. Yeah. I'm not going to complain. I've been on vacation for two weeks. That's true. I haven't been. I was See, here I am, right? all alone, all alone in the office. There was Aww. nobody here. All so by sad. myself. So sad. So sad. Let's see. I'm just going to double check because it seems that our Twitter link has kind of magically disappeared here. All right. I'm just going to quickly remove this one. There we go. Okay, so today, since we're just back from vacation, we thought, why don't we start out really hard? Yeah, and go on a fox hunt. That's the goal. Oh, um, oh. Yeah. Did you find my game all right? Yeah, yeah. Cool. So I'm just going to show you quickly. Um, I have all my colors this time. And, oh, yeah. And... Uh, also Very the, important. Yeah, that kind of helps. And I also brought along the .44 Panther Magnum. And if we encounter something big, I brought the Range Master 338 and just 270 Huntsman. That's what I brought. Good stuff. What did you I'm bring? I'm packing the uh, Whitlock Model 86 for the first time. Nice. Wanted to play um, a nice uh, lever action. And also my trusty uh, Range Master 338. And good. a 44 Wildcat Magnum, which I think I have never fired in this game. I think I haven't either, actually. So I thought it would be a good, suitable time. Oh, let's hope we can climb down here. I was thinking I would move towards you. Ah, uh, yeah, um... come to the hunting lodge where I am, because I think we can just venture out into the fields where we should encounter plenty of foxes. That's a funny thing. I can because I just started a new game, did a bit of developer magic to get my stuff, but I haven't actually discovered. Oh, you have. Those. You don't have the hunting lodge, right? Okay. No, that's right. We can move to to towards each other and see what we find kind of around that area, maybe. You better get that ATV out. Oh, little bunny. We're not going bunny hunting. It's great to see you guys back in the chat. We have, let's see, Cat Eye, Bob Tartufo, Taco Sauce, we have Zed Rooster, Black Markon, and Matt Seal. Nice. It's great to have you guys. Are you guys still on vacation or are you back to school and work or whatever else you're up to? Whatever it is that you do. Mm. As I said, you can see how tanned I got from lying in the sun for a week. Yeah. Were you? I blame it on being a viking. <laughs> sun has no effect on me. It doesn't though. It really does. I don't get I don't get tanned. It just doesn't happen for me. I'm really glad that for me it's the other way around. As, like I have to, I only have to be in the sun for an hour, mm -hmm. and I'm already getting a tan. Oh, so jelly. The good thing is when I go when I go to holidays, I usually do the thing that you should not do. Mm -hmm. I spend all of the time in the sun, and I aggressively just tan all the time, without sun uh, protection like the sun cream. Mm -hmm. Usually, I put that on on the second day because then I have sunburn. You like to live dangerously, don't you? Yeah, I I enjoy to live dangerously indeed. Let's see. Will there be any discussions of upcoming patches today? No. We're uh, we're still working on a patch, but we are going to announce it as soon as it's ready. Yeah. So well, you know, we have done we have done the patch uh, stream. When was it? Three weeks ago, I think, where we have showcased all of the stuff that we're going to introduce in the new patch, and uh, have shown all of the things around multiplayer that are uh, going to change and um, colors of the tracks 
when you're uh, tracking animals and uh, just stuff like that. The only thing that we're um, that we're missing basically is the announcement for a release date, but that is not going to go to, uh, not happening today. But um, yeah, we will do that as soon as possible. Seems that we have a host here from Jarhead TV. Thank you. Oh very yeah, much. thank you. Twenty-seven viewers. That's very generous of you. And uh, I believe Ian Natman just yeah. came back from Germany. Where have you oh. been in Germany? I believe we also have a host from Taco Sauce that started three, even before we went. Do we? Oh yeah, I see it here. Taco Sauce is hosting us. So Taco Sauce, you're not only very delicious because I love Taco Sauce, uh -huh. you're also very nice. Indeed. Oh, one of the long time streamers is a uh, classic. That's really cool. When did you start playing? It's been out for quite some time. We definitely have some good old veterans in the community by now. Yes, absolutely. I'm thinking we will start to encounter foxes pretty soon, hopefully. I feel like you always run into foxes when you're not looking for them. That kind of goes for every species. But... Mm, I agree. So if we would be going on a bison hunt today, you could be sure that we would be seeing plenty of foxes. For sure. Maybe we should just set out for something. Else. We're just going to say now that we're going to hunt bison and then we're going to encounter a lot of foxes. Yeah. Ow! I hit a tree. Oh. I found a point of interest right over here, 50 meters ahead. Shall we have a little look and see what it is? Oh, it's a hunting tower that you can put up. I don't know if we're, I mean, it, mm, it could potentially be a place where we would find the foxies. I might as well just put it up, have it done with. Ah, so in Thuringen, okay, so in the east, eastern regions of Germany. Thank you for that compliment, Justin Giverlake. It's a, it's a good nickname, by the way. Justin Grimberlake. <laughs> we'll, make, we'll make sure to pass on your nice words to the developers. And Gerhard TV, like four or five years ago, that's a long time. That's certainly quite some time. I got my ATV stuck in a bunch of stones, so I'm gonna run towards ah. you. I kind of drove down a slope, then I saw that there was a lake, then it couldn't get back up the slope. But I also nearly landed in the lake, I tried to drive around <laughs> the lake, but then there were more stones and now my ATV is stuck. Oh no, poor you. Yeah, in real life that would be like 8,000 euros down the drain <laughs> right there. I think it would be more careful it was, you know... Nah, okay. Johanna. Yeah, please. sorry, it's an ATV. Please. I take that back. Can't Let's have fun see. with things that you can drive if you're careful. I guess. Hello, Chill Crow Eat. I hope I said that right. And we have Black Martha. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. I already said that. And one cube. McTube. Being all done with winning matches in Battlegrounds. <laughs> Saw your tweet yesterday, or was it the day before yesterday? Three team wins, congrats on that. If the local landowner owns the ATV, it's all good. I'm gonna take a word <laughs> on that, Justin <laughs> Gimberly. It's like that skit from Louis C.K. Where, where, where he got a rental car and he just dropped it off at the airport because his flight was leaving and he didn't return it to the rental station and he called them. Yeah. And then they said, oh, are you can't just drop it off in front of the terminal and he said yeah well i just did i'm calling you from an airplane right now so if you want your car back you better go collect it 
So that would be the kind of the same situation, calling the landowner. Yeah, I dropped your ATV down by the lake. It's uh, it. in the stones. Better I'm fresh it up if you want it. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. I'm calling you from an airplane. Yeah, it's all oh, the reception is really bad. I have to turn my phone off. <laughs> I can't hear you. Yeah. Oh, we bagged a monster alpine ibex. I'd love to see that. I would love to see that. Oh, I got a call here. It's From a, a fox. roe deer. It's not a fox. It's a roe deer. Ah, uh, roe deer. Actually, Be a fox instead. Why aren't you a fox? I have no idea which button I put my road across there. Actually, I'm also just going to quickly... Do I have it here? Can I use it? I just need to quickly use my scent eliminator. There we go. Oh, you're not that late, Malafor. We started only like 15 minutes ago, so you're not that late. Even like 10 minutes ago. Let's see. I think I was coming from this direction. Uh oh! Uh oh, where is it? I can hear it. Oh, there it is. I forgot to equip an aim on this one, so let's just try and. I oh, got it, got it. Completely forgot to equip an aim here. Let's fix that. Oh, I do, I do. It's just another one that I was planning on. This is more to my liking. I really prefer to have like a proper scope. Go ahead and harvest it. Yeah, let's harvest. Got it right in, let's see. Left scapula and thoracic thoracic This is so hard to pronounce. Thoracic spine. There we go. Just say the spine. I'm just gonna say the spine. <laughs> But it was a nice quick kill and a clean score of 200. It's not bad. I like I'm not I like that I'm not the only person who tries to pronounce uh, difficult words and then pronounces them wrong and makes a total jackass of themselves. No of I always do that. <laughs> no shortage of ways to spend it either. It's kind of it's kind of hard when you've only ever read a word and uh, haven't actually heard anybody pronounce it. But I also like to make to make fun of uh, some of the words. A friend of mine, for example, he he loves the Queen's English. He is from uh, he's from Great Britain, and he is a big um, a big fighter for the proper use of the English language. So whenever I meet him, I mispronounce words on purpose just to wind oh, him up. No. It's like instead of vinegar, I would say vingier, or Caesar like... salad. Character. Yeah. Like Chandelion. Sh Chirector. Sh sh Chandelier. We got a follow from Sniz Zombie. Sniz Zombie. I think. Thank Exe you very much. Executive decision. Another one from Peking John. Man, we're getting followers here. Nice, nice, nice. What was the other one you said? Execution. Executive decision. Oh, God. That is horrible. Ah, uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's pretty fun. We have a lot of people from the UK here, it seems. One thing I cannot wrap my head around with a UK accent. I think, I'm not sure, but I think it's, uh, at least in England, I'm not sure if this goes for any other accents, like around the area or whatever. Uh, it's chipotle, or uh, you would say like chipotle. Or oh, chipotle. chipotle, like the Americans say, America, chipotle. Chipotle. Something chipotle. Like that. chipotle. Chipotle. For me, when I read it, it's like chipotle or chipotle. Yeah, chip chipotle. chipotle. Is it chipotle? Are we going to chipotle? <laughs> Like no, Chipotle. you're going home. Chipotle. We're going there. It's <laughs> really confusing. Chipotle. 
Have you spotted any foxes yet? I have not. I've spotted one deer and exactly zero foxes. We got a but one. I think we have to venture out, out, out of the forest, probably into the. Can you see my waypoint? Yeah, I'm, I'm coming over to you, yeah. and then we can go up north, from your position up north. That sounds good. Uh, where the fields are, I think we're going to be more in luck up there. Because I have actually never seen a fox in a forest that may be because of the uh, bushes here. Another word that I don't know how to pronounce, is it foliage or I think it's foliage? Foliage? Hello, Fisk. I'm I'm gonna say foliage on uh, Oh, this is a good now. one. Aluminium and risotto. Aluminium. <laughs> How do you pronounce it? Aluminium. Al <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. There are people who say aluminum, mm -hmm. and uh, like the Americans say it one way, and the British uh, say it another way. One say aluminum, and the other ones say aluminium. Aluminium is American. Probably is. It has yeah. to be. Risotto, how American do you... American is aluminum. 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 An aluminum tube. Let's see if I can get... Another follow from Fisk. Thank you so much. And for those who don't know, that means fish in Swedish. Yeah, and today we're streaming The Hunter and learning how to mispronounce words in English. And I'm trying to find possibly <laughs> other languages as well. Risotto, not so... Risotto. Is that how you say it? Risotto. Risotto. And tomato. Rice Otto. Rice Otto. Oh, you should say Rice Otto to your rice friend. Rice Otto. <laughs> I was thinking we would have some Rice Otto, but I have to cover it in aluminum. In them. Yeah. Do you also shop um, on this website called Amazon? What? Amazon. Oh, I see a deer. Oh, it's stuck, so let's ignore that one. Talking about mispronouncing things? Mm, I'm not sure what... Oh, Amazon. Yeah. Uh, Amazon. Albino, not albino. Uh, albino. Mm, the more you know. Guess we can just head into the fields and see. Feels like a good spotting area. This is where I basically encountered 100% of the foxes that yeah. I've seen so far. I've not seen a lot of them because they scare so easily. And ah, oh. I can see a roe oh, deer. It's a, here. Uh, it's a deer. Should it leave. is a roe deer, but it's a male. Ah, but it's so small. Look, it's very small. Let's it's continue tiny. on our quest for fox. Hackersos bought this game because of Fisk streaming it. Oh, that's so nice. What a bonding experience. That is very nice indeed. Fisk, doesn't that mean fish in Swedish? It does. It totally does. It's a good name. Ja, tycker om fisk. Mm, good. Very nice. Nom nom. Do you guys have a favorite place for hunting fox? Because we kind of enjoy these field parts the most. But do you guys have a, like, your favorite spot? Probably somebody's going to say all the way up in the north. All the way, Fish way up north. <laughs> no. Oh, it's, it's getting worried over there. going to use my Jack Rabbit caller. See if we can... Convince one of the foxes to show itself. Come out and play. We're not gonna hurt you much. What did you shoot? I shot nothing. Are you sure? I sh I fired one shot over there uh, at um, a roe deer. Oh, okay. But that was like 400 meters or so away, or 500 <laughs> before I caught up to you. I was like, what What are we shooting at? Oh, what does the fox say? Oh, wasn't that this this annoying uh, this annoying advertisement, this mobile advertisement with that frog? Oh, this frog yeah, that's what it sounds ding, like. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, crazy oh, frog. God. And I was thinking of the Ilvis one. What does the fox say? 
Yeah, I know that one too. Ba, 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 ba. I but I don't find that I don't find that as annoying as I did the frog. The frog traumatized me. Yeah, that was a bit too much. It was everywhere. It was everywhere and all the life. time. Hello, outlaw Sarah. Outlaw Sarah. Cornfields are pretty good for foxes, so I think we're kind of in the right, right um, direction here. Google Jack Rabbit and it's called a Haas in Dutch. Yeah, in in uh, German it's Hase. Mm. Oh. Oh, lots of bunnies. Another follow from Games Two Thirty HD. Thank you very much. Let's see, Rebecca Mala Black for... Friday. Yeah. Malafort just posted something in a uh, chat. He says, if you think English is bad, try speaking Welsh. And then he rolled his head over the keyboard oh, and goodness. wrote, is a name of a village and town. I believe you. One of my best friends uh, are from Wales. And whenever he tries to like pronounce a Welsh word, I'm like... <laughs> it's like, what is that supposed how you, to... How do you... And it's spelled like completely different. And yeah. It's worse than like French. It's the same with Irish too. You you read one word because in Ireland mm. they have the they have the city names in Irish as well as in English on the yeah. on the street signs and also on the number plates. So my number plate on my car, for example, uh, says Gailin, which is pronounced Gali, and it means Galway. So that oh. doesn't make a lot of sense. It's like three different ways. It's insane. Because an M H at the end is apparently an F. That's so confusing. So I'm okay. I'm gonna stop here, and mm -hmm. I'm going to read this town name out. Okay. okay. So watch me go, and after that, after that you can try it. So. Lan uh. fair. I give up. Okay, it's my turn already. I give up. That doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna Google this now. That can't be. Yeah. There can't be. I, it's probably pronounced like. It would like pronouncing the letters in a way that we don't do in Sweden. No way. Check this out. Oh, wait. This is actually the German link. I'm just gonna look for the English one because this is apparently really a thing. I'm uh, only slightly Welsh in my in my heart. Outlaw Sarah followed. Thank you so much. Is it this year? This is the shortened version, though. The lengthy version is Lanferflgvungilgogerich. It has four L's in a row. Are you actually for real? How is that even supposed to be pronounced? It's Lantizilio go go go. Get out of town. <laughs> get out of that town. Yeah, get out of that town. Definitely. You're probably not allowed in if you can pronounce it though. Imagine you're just trying to order a pizza there. Or sign up for anything, like, for example, a newspaper. Oh, write the town that you were born in. Like, it, it takes 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I imagine your passport, like, the town name will go across two pages. Yeah, thank you, uh, Mala, for... I hope I get, like, a, a smiley for, for effort. Um, I think you get an A for effort. He tried, you know, he tried. <laughs> you did your best. <laughs> the Welsh is really nice though. I went last October actually, and I think I might go back this autumn sometime. To Wales? Yes. Visit the Queen, like the royal family? Well... Our old buddy Charles? <laughs> and me and Charles go way back. Help go way back. 
I'm not finding anything over here. How's it going on your side? Nope, nothing. I mean, we got that one deer so far, so we're not completely empty handed. I think this calls for some knocko. I think, <laughs> I'm sorry guys, but I think that. Knocko, mm. knocko, knocko. Sorry for doing advertisement. We're not sponsored. No, and I'm totally not drinking the same drink just we now. Just really enjoy Nokko. I've never had a drink with that much caffeine in it. Heart attack incoming. Mm. Preferably not. I can oh, I see a fox! I see a fox! For real, Z's! Okay, let's bring out the collar. Where is it at? Which direction? It's straight in front of me. Oh. Do you have scent eliminator? Um, I don't. That's right. Why do I always forget the scent eliminator? I don't know. I always do that too, apart from today. And I'm better staying out of range. I oh, I see it. Is. I see it. It's pretty far off, right? On the yes. field. Let me see again. There it is. It's like 200 meters away. 220, yeah. No, where is it going? Come back. That's, that's a doable shot. I think, I think I need to get closer for the color to actually have range. I think it's about 200 meters if I recall correctly. So I need to get a bit closer. I'm glad it stopped raining. Come on, Foxy. Oh, he's coming closer now. I'm on my way over, but I can't see it. Because it's there is still a little on the hill. field. I'm just gonna try to stay close to the tree here so I don't expose myself too much. It's in a calm state, 160 meters away. Oh, it's coming closer pretty fast. Where are you at? Okay, you can just come and stand close to me. It's pretty far off uh, still. I'm just Sorry. crawling up this little hill here, and then I should be seeing it. I think lying down might be might be a bit too low down, but I'm gonna try. So apparently Fisk is not the biggest fan of coyotes, if I interpret this message correctly. I think he's on his way. Or she, I didn't really see. It's a female. I think I'm gonna do another call. So the problem with if we want to use the handguns is that it has to get pretty close and I'm not sure if we can actually pull that off since they're so easily spooked. That is true. I'm also gonna use my uh, my big rifle because my uh, Whitlock doesn't have a scope on it. You can't mount a scope on that one. So that's going to make things difficult for everything above 100 meters. I think he's climbing up the hill. Hopefully. Or she is a female. Come on, Fox. Oh, there she is. There she is. 90 meters away. It's getting closer. He's behind a tree now. I think this was gonna be a bit of an overkill. So to speak. That's another fox. Oh. Calling. That's behind us. This one is behind a tree. I can't see it. I it's see which direction you're looking in, but I like my field of view is blocked by a ton of trees. Mm. Yeah, the fox. Oh, is now I see it. Now. Oh, you can see it. Yeah, it? but it's it's going. Uh, wait, I'm gonna spot it. It's going in and out uh, behind the trees. Okay. And now it's behind a bunch of bushes as well. Right. It's to it's slightly to your left. And it's walking out onto the field to your left. Oh. I think like the next half minute. Okay. It's not in a rush. There it is on the field. It's on the field. Left, left of you. 
Even more left? Let more, yeah, more, more. Turn. Yep. Now you should be seeing it. I can't see it. Do you see the barn? Oh, I can spot it now. Yeah. What? Oh, there it is. There it is. I think we should try to go for it. Yes, we should. Okay. Are you ready? I am ready. All right. Do you want to count down? Okay. Three, two, one, go. I didn't get it. Stopped running. Let's see. Let's go and check it out. Uh, I have no visual on Hello, it. Hello, unholy. How's it going? By the way, for everybody watching the stream right now, um, if you look at our follow account, and also if you're following us on uh, Twitter, you may have seen that we have crossed uh, 3,000 follower threshold yes. a little bit over a week ago. So Johanna awesome. and I are going to sit down and we're going to brainstorm uh, what we can do for a little celebration stream. Yes. Maybe next week or the week after that. You can see the tracks. It's trotting. I'm not seeing any blood tracks. Could you find any? I'm just running to the point where I shot it. No, it's wrong. But I don't think so. I think we might have missed it. Ah, uh, what? I think my shot placement was pretty bad. I actually thought I hit it spot on. But then again, you never know. No, I mean, I, I can follow its tracks, but there are no blood tracks. I think it probably just spooked. No blood tracks. I don't think we're gonna catch up with this one. Nope. Probably not. Strongly doubt it. I guess we should just uh should just yeah. Probably go in another direction since we spooked <laughs> everything around us. Okay. Yeah. Probably for the best. What do you see? Uh, Should we go north or south? Uh, north, definitely. Okay. I think we should go northwest. Just you see the where? Fields? Yeah, just where the fields go. Yeah. Let's I do think that. We should we should go there because the fields are the best points. Sounds like a good idea. All right. Well, it was. It was worth a shot. It was fun while it lasted. I think I was a bit eager there. I was kind of shaky. Still took the shot. Should return to the shooting range and practice our shooting skills. Probably should, probably should. Oh. Another. That's a warning call. Okay. It's a female. It might be the same from one. From exactly from the west, from our west. Could be the same one, yeah? You said it was a female, right? I thought it would run further, but I'm not sure. I can't see it. Oh! No, that was a rabbit. Lots of rabbits today. Ah, now I'm so spaghetti oh, upset that I, I don't have my scent eliminator. It's Where is it? right behind one of the uh, haystack thingies. I just wanted to throw a hand grenade. <laughs> I pressed G. <laughs> Where am I? Where am I? I was oh God! And now I'm not seeing anything. Where do I turn? I'm sneaking up the hill. I was just looking at it, and then I have no idea what happened. Where did the call come from? Was it here? Exactly from uh, from west. I'm walking in the direction where the call came from. We got a follow from Chill Crow Eat. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
we shall yeah, be forever there. grateful. I was by one of these, but I'm not sure which one. I can see a lot of tracks here, though, on the field. That's probably from that. So it has definitely been here. I'll just try to do a little call and see what happens. I'm gonna do the same. I did see it, but then I'm not sure what happened. They're pretty fast, those little rascals, so I might have actually- Oh, I see it! It's like by the end, um, um, I'm not sure how to point this out, but to you, it's slightly to the left, and it's almost by the woods on the I other see side. It. see it. It's walking the wrong it's way. It's walking away. Should we take a shot? We can try. I, I can try and call it once more. Oh goodness, that's a funny call. It might not respond if it's been spooked, but it seems that it's turning around. It's like, oh, like a bit warning call, so it probably hurt me when I walked around. I have sent the radiator. Do you want to take a shot? Yep. Okay, let me know when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Three, two, one. No way. Should have gotten it. But might have missed. I That's don't know. behind one of behind one of the hay balls. Should go and have a look. I don't think we hit it. I don't know. Mm. This time I'm hundred percent sure I must have hit it. 7.40 a.m. in Los Angeles. Here it is at uh, 22.05 in the afternoon, actually. In Los Angeles! Man, we're reaching a crowd from all over the world. We had somebody from Japan in last uh, last time we streamed. Now it's L.A. That's so uh, nice. We got blood tracks! Flesh wound! I think it's so cool that... I mean... Oh, sorry, I just I just found it and clicked it. Uh, let's just quickly go through the fox here. Nice pose, by the way. We hit it in the leg and uh, it bled out. So we got a trophy rating of 7. Quick kill bonus, 81%, which is like, meh, it's kind of alright. A bit slow. It's okay-ish. A total score of 374. Yes. I'm glad we got this one though. We got a fox! You. That is so nice. Mission accomplished. Sub so. 5. Virtual high five. I need to talk to Phil. We need uh, like a high five emote in the game. Yeah, we do. We high do. five and finger pistols. <laughs> like. Yeah, pew pew pew. Coolio. Should, should we continue? Um, to follow the fields. First yeah. of all, we need to get out of the uh, zone we here. Just fo for like continue upwards. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. I think. I mean, for being going on a fox hunt, I think we're doing okay. We spotted quite a few foxes for you know. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not too shabby. I would say. Actually, it's pretty cold in here. So unholy, since you're from LA, uh, how is the weather? Please tell us. Tell oh us all gosh. about beautiful weather in California. So we can be jealous and cry. Yeah, without 20 degrees here. <laughs> I went to... Well, at least it's not raining. <laughs> it's not, it's not, which is good. I went to Greece on my vacation and it was 37 degrees oh, for a few of those days. So it was that's pretty melting insane. time. It's terrible. 37 degrees and I think that, so the kind of kind of good thing is there it's a pretty dry heat. Mm. It's worse because, when it's humid. Oh uh, yeah. 
it gets so hard to breathe. At least if you go somewhere and you get off the plane and you're just running into this wall of humidity and warmth and it's like <gasps> Oh yeah. yeah. I'm True. used to the northern air. <laughs> but you know what a weird thing here is? In winter, right, the 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 air gets so dry, all the humidity is sucked out of it. First mm. of all, you get electrocuted whenever you touch metal. Yep. If I touch the water tub and I just want to pour myself a glass of water, I'm getting an electric shock. The and same when I care. I get nosebleeds all over the place. Like crazy. Last year in in December and January and February it was when when we had the big snowfalls uh here it was terrible. I got Imagine. so many nosebleeds and got electrocuted and my poor cats they get electrocuted too. They got so bad that they didn't want me to touch them anymore. Oh, Whenever they things. saw, because especially the big one that I have, uh, she got super scared of me. Whenever I came near her, she's like, "Oh no, that weird-looking dude is going to touch me, and that means pain." I'm it's better like when you touch away. their ear or something, and it's like, and "Yeah, why you can would you hear do it. that?" It's a little spark. It's like click, yeah. click. A catastrophe. Oh god. What's that drink? It's Noko. Uh, it has my name on it as well because I didn't want anybody to steal it by mistake. Yeah, no carbs energy drink. I'm going to the gym later. That's why. That's why. It's a uh, yeah. It has um. It has amino acids in it, which is good for muscle recovery and a lot of caffeine. Uh, I'm also a lot of caffeine. caffeine. Oh god, Pixel pull the worst pun. Are you kitten right now? <laughs> oh god. You guys. Oh god. Are we starting with the puns again? I think we They're are. back. I think we are. Perfect. This is just gonna... gonna... Keep going, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I guess <clears throat> the trick is also in a situation like this uh, to always stay positive. Paw positive. Oh, that is so bad. I wonder if anybody can come up with a pun containing whiskers. Whiskers. I'm not sure how you would incorporate that. Oh, another fox call. It's a warning. Dad call. is from straight ahead. Straight from a like a bush thing. Straight out of Hirschfelden. Get straight out of here. I'm totally at one point in my life I'm gonna release a rap rap. Uh, rap record. Another follow from Josh F989. Thank you, Josh. Every single follow is super important to us, so thank you so much. I'm feline weird about these puns. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I mean, it kind of has to happen, right? Uh, I, I think we haven't had, we haven't had a, a hunting lodge stream probably in the past two or three months without terrible puns. It's starting to become a thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of a running gag by now. You know, in my group of friends, I'm kind of known as the person who does really bad word puns, but. I ain't got nothing on you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. I don't know what your problem is, guys. I think they're pretty possum. <laughs> I'm just not gonna say anything. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> just hang up the Skype call. <laughs> Kick me from the game. We're done here. Get out! Tailors more. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. 
I might claw my eyes out. Quite literally. Yeah, that wasn't even a pun. That was just a fact. <laughs> Where are you, little foxy? Yeah. My character is really- oh my god, it sounds like somebody died. It's a mating call. <laughs> it sounds like somebody died. Authority. Responding to the mating call that sounded like somebody died with a call that sounded like somebody died. Zaggy DK is now following. Thank you. About time that you follow us, Zaggy. We've been waiting thought for that one. Yeah, I thought you were following us for months now. What happened? Did you unfollow us and resubscribe just now? Just to show off your name. Ah. Good one. Good one. Good for promotional purposes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go into the noisy bushes here. Let's try to. No, the uh, the other thing is as well when you go like into this foresty area, it's pretty impossible to spot the foxes. Mm. So I always like to lure them out. Onto an open field. It was a pretty shitty wind direction for me. Yeah, kind of really is. I'm just gonna make sure that I do have scent eliminator. Hopefully that will be enough. <laughs> yeah, probably the puns were so bad that Zagi's uh, Twitch automatically unfollowed us. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> His Twitch was probably like, nah, nah. Really not. You don't, not you don't want to follow the... <laughs> mm -hmm. Probably getting banned at some point yes. from Twitch. Uh, where are you, little fox? That was a bunny. There are rabbits everywhere today. Literally everywhere. Yeah, I saw plenty of them as well. Just around me right now. Another one. So the current fox is exactly to the west, somewhere on this field, but I have no visual on it yet, no, I you don't. I see some tracks, but I'm not sure which way they're leading. Mm. Oh, there we have it. 60 meters. Should I try and get it? Uh, I can't see it, so yeah, go ahead and okay. uh, try your look. I think I got it. I didn't uh, see it running. I think I got it in the neck. Let's go and have a look. Oh, guys, in case any of you play the Hunter Classic, have you seen that Johanna has her own trophy in the game? Have you seen it? <gasps> That's pretty cool. That's pretty amazing. 100% celebrity right now. Oh gosh. You know, uh, when uh, d our designer, Patrick, he came up to me like, Johanna, you're gonna be in the game as a trophy. <laughs> I'm like, okay, he's trolling, trolling right now. Like, what is he even talking about? <laughs> like, no, no, it's like, it's gonna be a trophy with your face on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's Does that cool, mean? Though. I feel honored. I Does really that do. mean when, uh, if your if your boyfriend plays the game, that you're his trophy wife? Oh, <laughs> 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 I'm totally trophy wife material though. Okay, I got it in the upper neck. Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's a uh, 246 score. Not too bad. I think probably. Um, I don't know. I feel. I think this might be a bit overpowered, but I'm. I'm not completely uh, sure. But it was a nice quick little bonus. So whoop a do. Nice stuff. That's the second one. Yes. Well, we have another seven minutes. Six minutes to get another fox. 
I don't think we're gonna do that with this pressure, this hunting pressure, but we could just run out of it yeah. and see if we find yeah. something. Let's sprint out of the out of the area. Oh! I got another oh it's a boar. It's a boar uh to the southwest. Can you see it? Uh no no yeah. It's to the southwest, it's running across the ridge. There is um the field right to our west. Oh there it is. See it? I have a collar. Should I see if I can use it? Yeah, sure. It is a male and up to a hundred and eighty six kg. Have a look. Oh yeah, and the as Ron McTube said, the Fiesta also started on Hunter Classic. So yes, if you, if you don't know the game, it's free on Steam. Go check it out, the Hunter Classic. And join the Summer Fiesta. Summer Fiesta win a trophy of Johanna. And Alena. And, and Caledonian Blues. Yeah, Caledonian Blues and Alena are, are also in it. We also All got another things. follow, sorry, from Juiceful Orange. There, I said it. Go on, go on. I lost track of the boar. I think it went over the ridge. Oh, maybe. I also can't see it anymore. Let's but it was it pretty again. big, so oh, wrong it one. can't hide forever. Let's try again. Don't want to call too often. Oh, yeah, it's it's um, it's going away. It's like 230 meters almost. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. Zaki, about the harvest bonus, I can't really say anything about it because while this is an ongoing discussion within the team, there have been no concrete decisions been made uh, about this, so I can't really say anything about this at the moment and the other question that we have here is can you tell us something about uh, new dlc's additions some hints maybe uh we are working on content that's all i can say for the time being i mean we get the question on twitter on facebook uh, nearly on a daily basis and uh like i obviously know what we're working on but <laughs> we haven't announced it yet uh, so all i can say is that stuff is going to blow you away I'm pretty sure of it. Like once we announce it, which will be as soon as possible, that stuff is going to blow you away. I hope so. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool, like really cool. Maybe that's a hint. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like uh, we're we're definitely working on stuff. Just whatever it is, I can't say. But hopefully, you will like it. Yep. It's New content's confirmed. Yeah. yeah, we've been pretty open about that, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, but what could it be? You know, that's the thing. We always want to share what we're what we're doing, what we're working on, but then obviously we can't. Mm, it's a bit of a shame. You always want to share, but you never can until it's been announced. That's just how it is when you work with things that have to be kept on a down low for a while. Yeah, I remember back before we released the game and uh, Leighton Lake wasn't yet uh, announced and we were mm. doing pre-release streams, how difficult it was not to talk about it or not to hint it. And then uh, when we finally were able to announce it and we did the first stream on the map, it was so it was such a relief. It was so nice. You always have to keep in mind, oh, don't mention this, don't mention that. And sometimes you get lost in a conversation and then you're always afraid that it might, you know, might slip out or something like that. Mm -hmm. So it was very nice to have that uh, off your chest. Yeah, I agree. It's always fun to see the reaction, you know, when you finally get to release something. But I don't think we're going to find anything more right now. What no, do I don't think? think so, yeah. Maybe we'll just end it on a high note with our with mm. our second box. Oh well. On that note guys, um 
thank you so much for watching. It's been great to be back. And I hope you guys are happy that we're going back with the streams again. Yeah, and we're going to have more information on whatever it is that we're going to do for the uh, 3,000 follower celebration stream that we're going to do. Uh, pretty sure we're going to do it probably next week or maybe the week after that. And um, But we're going to make a post on Twitter and on Facebook and Steam about it. So stay tuned to our channels. Hopefully that post is going up tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. So you will have more information on what's going to happen. Yes. We're going to do our best to involve you guys some way. Absolutely, yeah. And don't forget to tune in on Thursday. Same place, same time. Uh, 4 p.m. CST for the Hunter Classic stream. Yes. Looking forward to it. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and we hope to see you on Thursday. Yeah, see you. Happy hunting. Happy hunting. Bye bye.